welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Blake welcome back to a new vlog I'm packing right now we are headed to Vienna Austria we're also going to Salzburg Austria we're only going for a week and I am packing enough clothes for a month I'm the worst packer I end up hating most of the things I bring I usually don't try on things that I bring and so I don't even know how I'm gonna wear them so I've been trying to do that this time but I'm very last minute Every single time I pack, whether I'm going on a one hour flight or going to Europe and I have to leave in two hours and I have started pulling together outfits, but I have not started packing. So I need to start doing that, but I am so excited. I'm so excited. We didn't know about this trip until a couple weeks ago. I am working with Austrian airlines and I actually cannot believe those words are coming out of my mouth because I, <laughs> if you told me three years ago I would have been like working with travel clients I truly would have never believed you this has been a dream of mine for years I am so immensely grateful like shocked <laughs> stunned I still kind of can't believe this is happening and this is just such a cool opportunity and I I don't think I'm ever gonna like not be shocked by this so I'm so 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 excited I'm doing some promo content for them on Instagram and TikTok to um, promote this new direct flight from Boston to Vienna so I just figured I would vlog on YouTube as well just for fun to have a little in-depth vlog while we are there so I'm basically just bringing a lot of like simple simple dresses and skirts shorts tank tops t-shirts some sweaters very like basic things but i'm just gonna bring a bunch of options so i am bringing two suitcases i mentioned this in my last vlog but if you're wondering where Bo is he is getting trained while we uh are traveling he's doing a like full training program and i feel like he is at summer camp and there's two other golden retrievers there with him and the trainer has sent me a bunch of videos and he looks like he's having so much fun i haven't really done anything in the nine weeks that i've had him which i've been so fine with because i just love spending time with him but it is nice to just like go on a trip with john and have some time with us so that's where Bo is he's at summer camp I need to stop blabbing. I need to start packing. I'm all done packing. And we are about to leave. Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher. It's running and right next to me. You will never catch me on an airplane in anything but a sweat set. The most uncomfortable thing to me on a plane is having anything like too tight to my body. So even like leggings, I hate. I feel like I always get bloated when I'm on a plane just from like sitting probably for so long. So I love a loose comfy pair of sweats. And this is like the most baggy comfy sweats that I own. So this is what I'm wearing. It's from TLF. John just got back from his um, work event. How was it? Quick, that's good. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Me too. These are the shoes I'm wearing. I'm bringing way too many pairs of shoes, honestly, but I mean, I had the space, so why not? Um, I'm bringing like a cute pair of sneakers, but then I'm bringing these to like walk around and we're gonna do some walking tours and I really don't want my feet to hurt. So I'm gonna bring these, they're from Reebok. My base carry-on, my away carry-on, and my base mini weekender. And that is everything. We are ready to go. Neither of us have flown business class before, so this feels very luxurious. <laughs> and would you say this is the most beautiful hotel you've ever stayed in? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. so that's the consensus. Here's the bed. They put a little picture of John in the room. Oh, good one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me 
take you to the entrance. Here's the front door to my humble abode. A small table over here when you walk in for trinkets. Complimentary AirPods or? Here's the wardrobe. Oh, there's mirrors in here. And the shower. Stunning. Here's the bar. Look at this little treat. Let me take you into the bathroom. I would like to live here. <laughs> I would like to live in this hotel. This bath that we'll be hopping into. Well, vanity. Here is the toilet. We are headed to lunch right now. This might be the best spot I've ever gotten ready in. The view was lovely, the lighting was lovely. 10 out of 10. I'm so tired right now, I feel like I can barely open my eyes, but we are gonna go head to lunch right now, so I just put some quick makeup on. I don't remember the name of the place we have a reservation at, but we can walk there. It's like a 10, 15 minute walk, which is so nice. The things I would do for a nap right now, I feel like a zombie. If we were here for like two weeks, I would nap right now and just get adjusted. But we're only here for five, we're only here in Vienna for like two days and then we go to Salzburg. So I just don't want to waste time trying to acclimate to the time difference in the lack of sleep on the plane. So we're just going to power through because I really just don't want to waste time sleeping. I wish I could sleep better on planes. And this plane was like the best case scenario ever. It was so lovely, so comfortable. The seats we were in fully flattened. Like I was fully horizontal. There was no reason I shouldn't have been able to sleep. I'm just not a good plane sleeper, John is, but I need to get better with that because a red eye is very convenient. And I feel like most of the flights that we've taken at least that go to Europe are red eyes. So I really need to get with it and get better at sleeping on planes. All right, we're gonna go grab some lunch. Give me a lot of power. Get the bugs. Look at the table for this one. Oh, it's a special car. That's cool. There's also a garden over here. It's very gloomy right now, but honestly, the temperature feels so nice. It's so refreshing. It's almost four o'clock right now. I think we're gonna head back to the hotel. We have a dinner reservation at seven, but we both have to get some work done. And we're really, really tired. <laughs> so we're gonna go back and just lay for a bit, get some work done, get ready for dinner, and then we have dinner at our hotel at seven. So we're gonna have a pretty chill rest of the day. I'm very exhausted and proof of that is the fact that I just talked to the camera for five minutes and then realized it wasn't recording. So hi, we both fell asleep accidentally. So we failed our goal of powering through. We got back from walking around after lunch. I would say like, 34 ish and I literally just laid on the bed in my clothes I've been walking around it and then woke up an hour and a half later <laughs> so oops I do kind of feel a little better I felt like I was on another planet like so out of it so I honestly do feel better now you never know with a nap if it's gonna make you feel terrible or better I just got this new blush from Kosas, the color Hype, I think. Our dinner reservation is at the same place we had breakfast, which is the rooftop restaurant at the hotel. So very easy commute, which is perfect. We have to leave in like 10 or 15 minutes. But I am kind of bummed because we are only here for two days, like two and a half. And it really feels like a waste of time to sleep when you're in a new place. Feel my hair, is it soft? I love when people touch my hair. Like That's like not true though. Yes it is. No, you don't like it when I touch your hair sometimes. 
Because you just go up here and like get it greasy. <laughs> I'm like validate me and tell me it's soft. <laughs> All right, vlog. Blake test me. <laughs> Filming a little bit while she's picking out an outfit. Look at how messy we've managed to make our room since we showed it to you just what a few hours ago. Looks like we. I don't know. Went crazy in there. Is that inappropriate for the vlog? <laughs> <laughs> we literally napped. I like the length of it. I feel like it's not too short. I love how the waist is cinched. Like all this extra fabric here, I feel like it's just so flattering. Back is the same as the front. I love it. It's from We Wore What? We're off to find snacks. When I studied in Germany, my favorite treat was Haribo, but the flavor was raspberry and woodruff, and they do not have those in the States. Not that I have been able to find. Um, so I'm gonna try to find them here. I could do this all night. Literally the same. <laughs> my battery's gonna last longer than yours. <laughs> Look at this building behind us. Stunning. It's so beautiful here. new sweater from Everlane. I tank top from Everlane. Oh my god, my jeans are also from Everlane. And my pink Rothy's. It's like 63 right now and I think it's gonna get up to 70 so it's not gonna be a super warm day, which honestly I really like for walking around a city. We have a tour this morning, so I feel like that's the perfect temperature. I think I'm gonna get avocado toast, but without egg, and add smoked salmon. We got some green juices. We also just ordered some lattes. Everything looks so delicious. John got the French toast. We got this hash brown yesterday. It was absolutely delicious. This is uh, Joseph II. That's why this is so good. shorts I wore yesterday from Everlane and just a big gray sweater on top. One thing about me is that I'm never in charge of the hotel key and I don't want to be. Never. Or directions. <laughs> or driving. Oh. I'm obsessed with these little candies. This is the best flavor. The sun is finally peeking out a little, so it's a lot warmer than this morning, which is so nice. Cheers. John got an espresso martini and a salad to start. I have this pea soup, which looks like a work of art. It's so stunning. And a Negroni. Would you believe me if I said this was made of fish? <laughs> They look this, like, like maple breakfast They do. Sausages. This is not meat. I saw this on the menu and it said fish sausages. And I was very confused. I asked if there was meat and they said there's no meat in them. It's made from a white fish. And I've never heard anything like this or even heard of anything like this. So I had to try. I have an important question for you guys. John likes to hold hands one way and I hate it. And I like to hold hands the other way. And we need to know. We need to know what you guys prefer. So Which is normal. We're doing a poll. This is option one. I Thank think you. I think this is more comfortable. John likes this. This is option two. 
Okay, I see the appeal, but I feel like my fingers are just being suffocated. It feels claustrophobic to me. We just had lunch at the Gilbert Hotel. What was the place called? Flora? Oh, we're walking by it again. It was very good and the vibe inside was lovely. There, the ceiling was all glass. So the light in there was so relaxing and peaceful. Are we in the sixth or the seventh? One of the two. I don't know. Um, but we're staying in the first at the Rosewood Hotel, if I didn't mention that. So it's like a 15-ish minute walk and it's almost three right now. We have another tour at four in this area. So it doesn't really make sense to go back. back from dinner. I think we're gonna walk around for a little bit. Might go try to find a cafe to sit at, get some desserts, and enjoy our last night here before we head to another smaller, much smaller city tomorrow. Uh, I kind of wish we had more time here, but I've heard there's like wonderful wineries that are in, like, what is it, like the 26th, 23rd district? I don't know. One of the districts on like the farther edges of the city, but they're still technically in Vienna. Um, and there's like multiple wineries in this one region. And I really wish we had time to go because they look really beautiful, but we'll just have to come back, I suppose. I have been wearing this sweater the entire time. I feel like I have said in this vlog that this is from Everlane. It's not, it's from Cezanne. Oops, I'll link, um, outfits that I'm wearing on my LTK. If anyone cares, I don't want links to anything. <laughs> um, it's always linked in my description if you're curious, but yeah, let's go walk around. We got ice lattes again. I feel like I've been wearing this sweater every single time I've picked up my camera. <laughs> We're at Belvedere this morning. Blake packed 20 outfits to wear the same one. <laughs> um, we're at Belvedere just for like an hour and then we have to go back to the hotel and check out. We have a lunch reservation and then we are hopping on a like three and a half hour train to Salzburg. So, and I think we have a pretty late night because we're going to um, a music festival that's in Salzburg. So I should have gotten more than like four hours of sleep, but... Yeah, why were, why were you doing that? <laughs> I couldn't fall asleep. I was also, the trainer sent me videos of Bo, so I was re-watching those over and over. <laughs> we're off to shop. Yeah, we are off. You guys, I might need to buy these to bring back home. We're obsessed with them, they're so good. <laughs> Look. I'm mm. in the glass. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. No, cheers. I thought you were cheersing the vlog. Well, them too. We're all cheersing. Cheers. Take a sip. Yeah, if you're, if you're at home, drink along. <laughs> I just went to YSO. I feel like you guys know this. I do not treat myself. I treat myself to food. My favorite thing to spend my money on is food. I love ordering takeout. I love going out to eat. That's my favorite thing to spend my money on. But I do not like go shopping a lot. I I don't like buy myself expensive things and. I have, like, over the last few years working for myself, I have, like, become a little more, like, like, I can afford more than I used to be able to a few years ago, and I feel like I still live a similar way, like, I still kind of spend the same way I used to, and I don't treat myself often, 
So I decided that I deserved to treat myself. And I bought a bag last time we were in Paris. I haven't bought any like expensive items since then. And there's a YSL right near us. So I decided to pop in because if you're gonna sure enough. If you're gonna buy a bag, it really makes sense to do so here because I just looked online with tax, it would have been 2550 I will end up spending, what was it? Like $1,800 USD based on what I spent today, but then you also get the tax refund um, when you go to the airport. So I will have saved hundreds of dollars. So it really makes sense to buy them in Europe. But I have wanted this shoulder bag for a while. Um, the little like logo is in the inside right now because everything's protected. But or I'll just take it off for a second. But it's so adorable. I really love it, and it's just a little gift to myself. Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, we are gonna pack and head on out. I'm very sad to leave Vienna, but Salzburg will be be really fun too. It looks beautiful there. just arrived in Salzburg. Here's our hotel. We're staying at Stein Hotel. We've been on the train for hours and we have to leave in like 20 to go to the festival all night. So we're very hungry. So we're eating chocolate. That was the speediest I've ever gotten ready. I feel like I've said that already in this vlog, but this took it to a new level. I'm just truly wearing black jeans and a black tank top. Because we're matching. Nothing groundbreaking, I just honestly wanted to be comfortable, but... Comment W. Blake in the comments okay. for getting ready. Okay. I We're off. Go. See ya! We are thriving. We just got back from the festival. John's tatted. Yep, inked up. <laughs> John hasn't had a donor kebab yet, so we got that. And then I got a falafel one. We got some french fries. We got baklava. And we've never been happier because we didn't think any food places were gonna be open. So we are eating in bed, watching Netflix. And let me just tell you, this is my ideal way to end the night. We will see you tomorrow. Good morning. I think today's Friday, I'm losing, I'm losing my mind on this trip. I like <laughs> have no sense of what day it is. We're going to the festival again today, just for a little bit today, but we're going to um, a beach first that's on a beautiful lake apparently, and I'm very excited to see it. Right now I think it's almost 12. We're leaving in like 10, 15 minutes, and we're gonna be there for a few hours and then go to the festival for a couple hours and then probably come back and explore this area we're staying in because we haven't really had time to yet because we just got here yesterday evening as you know and immediately went to the festival which was super fun by the way that's so out of my comfort zone i have never been to like an edm festival if you had asked me if i would ever go to one i would probably say no it was so fun it was so amazing like i totally get the appeal i've always felt that like i wouldn't have fun at one of those things it was so fun. It was just like the best energy. It was such a good night. We came back, I think we left at like 11.30, apparently went till four. You would have never caught me there past midnight, but we had a lot of fun up until we left. I'm trying to figure out what to wear right now. This dress is, I feel like it's like Love Shack Fancy or For Love and Lemons, it's one of those. This is way more comfortable. I love the other one, but I just know I'm gonna be uncomfortable because of the length. I do like this one, but more for like going to sit at brunch, not like dancing for hours and hours. I don't have like anything to wear under it, so. John is walking around right now trying to find a store to buy some water bottles at to bring with us. And then we're gonna go. It is truly stunning here. Yesterday when we got here, it was super gray and cloudy. And our taxi driver told us that it rains like 300 days out of the year here, which is crazy to me. 
Um, so I feel very grateful today that we have a really sunny day, but it's so, so beautiful. The, the views out of this hotel are absolutely stunning. We also went to breakfast this morning. I will probably put those clips in before. You've probably already seen them. They're probably before this, but um, I took some clips on the rooftop, which is where the restaurant is, and oh my gosh, it was just so beautiful. So I'm loving it here so far. I'm excited to be able to actually explore this area later when we get back from the festival. dinner now we're walking around it's beautiful I think we love Salzburg <laughs> I think we love Austria <laughs> I think we do we're about to check out it's very clear today yesterday it was pretty cloudy in the morning and it ended up getting sunny but you could barely even see this mountain it's totally visible right now it's so beautiful it's like 10 30 10 45 we have to check out at 11 oh my gosh we are going to try to fill our schedule today, explore Salzburg. We did walk around for a while last night and we have a city tour today, so I'm sure we're gonna really see everything. But yeah, we head back to Vienna tonight. I think we get there at like 11.30 p.m. And we're really just checking into a hotel and sleeping because we leave at 7 a.m. the next morning to fly back home. So I kind of feel like we're just going home now because everything in the middle of then is just leading up to that. What would you rate Salzburg so far? Honestly, 8.4. You have your sunglasses on. It's bright. We're out of window. Do you see, do you see that John got a little, a little roasty, toasty, a little tomato-y? I don't know if the camera's even going to pick it, it up. It is, I think. He didn't wear any sunscreen yesterday. And he turned into a little lobster. <laughs> we don't know our itinerary for the walking tour, yeah, so we might like... just double dip. But... Um, there's like a castle looking thing over there, and we're wondering if we can go up to it. Not visible. There it is. By hotel. You look like you're... What? No, just like in a outside walkway. <laughs> for like, <laughs> the wallpaper? Yeah, for like green screen. <laughs> we just came to the top of this fortress. That is basically on the edge of a cliff, right next to the town. Wow. <laughs> Look at this view. You can see how the old town is just like built within these like cliff walls. It's so crazy. There's so many restaurants up here too, so we might have to grab lunch up here. We just came all the way up to the top. And the view is incredible. These mountains are stunning. We just stopped to grab lunch before we have a walking tour. We had to put a little lock on this bridge before we left. There's so many. It's very windy. <laughs> we have arrived back in Vienna. We're only staying here for one night because we're flying out tomorrow morning. But this hotel is lovely. It's the Andaz. Andaz, maybe, probably. <laughs> it's very nice. Here's John. Just, just modeling. And we're very tired, so there is a really cool rooftop apparently at this hotel, but we are not going. <laughs> we're so tired so we might just watch something and go to sleep and try to get up kind of early so we can like have breakfast at the hotel and not feel super rushed in the morning so we are off to bed good night <laughs>